it, it was one of the funniest things that I had ever seen at that point. Oh, the but Scrump we Army the tuning in. <laughs> <laughs> so this matchup, I'm just going to be candid. We're going to see a lot of stuff flying around the screen, and we're not going to see a lot of close quarters interaction. Yeah. I feel like more often than not, Adam is going to be forcing the issue because um, <clears throat> I feel like Scrump's projectiles are a lot more versatile in the amount, in the different areas of space that they can cover. So Adam's going to have to do a good job of bobbing and weaving and getting around all these traps. Yeah. And, you know, if Scrump wants, he can just press side B and win neutral. Yeah. Because <laughs> against, like... Mega you know, Man. Seen, uh, his set against Dylan, but he was getting a lot of, uh, you know, really, <laughs> really well timed Wonder Wing kills. And yeah. We'll see if he can continue that. I, I heard about some of those Wonder Wings. I think it's honestly going to be like the most, the most important factor for his game. There's one right there. Mm hmm. Thankfully, just the late hit for Bug Doctor, but. Ugh. <laughs> I wonder what... Surprisingly, you know, fast pace considering what these cared about this time. Oh, Wonder Wing. Sour. Yeah, I'm wondering Dr. what in no the strategy no is. Like, here. what is Bug Doctor looking for to get kills? Ground takes stock number one. I looks what... <laughs> so Bug Doctor is one of those players that, you know, regardless of the how the match is progressing, whether he's down by a couple stocks or up by a couple stocks, he's very committed to his game plan. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. And I'm, I'm certain that he's he's going to be able to stay composed and, and bring back whatever deficit he's faced with. And as we see right there, he closes out that stock. And Now, this is definitely within striking distance. Mm-hmm. Down throw into nothing. You've really got to, you know, wonder, though, with Mega Man dying at, like, 100 <laughs> to Wonder Wing or to down throw up tilt or whatever, you know, yeah. what's he looking for to get his kills with? I feel like he can do a... he'd probably be able to get away with a lot of aerial pressure on shield. I don't know if Banjo has too much that's that great, especially behind him out oh, of shield. I like that down smash. Like, I used to think that Banjo back air out of shield seemed like a pretty good option, and then Scrump definitely um, <laughs> told me otherwise very colorfully one day. <laughs> and so, I feel like... That's one way well, to get a kill. We can also take an, S can yeah. also take an SD for sure. But I feel definitely like Bug works. Doctor, one of the setups that he likes to go for is a drag down back there into an up tilt. And that can actually be a true combo at certain percentages. And I feel like he could probably uh, get at least a couple to hit on a character like Banjo. Yeah, maybe. You know, he's pretty big and bulky. Using the grenade against him. I like it. That was awful. That was awful. Spot Hate touch that. grab. Spot touch down smash. Spot touch down smash. Oh, and then and he... Wonder Wing. <laughs> Let's have some of Wonder Wing. Yeah. Wedge. <laughs> um, that's epic. Yeah, so <laughs> that's some. Uh, I'm, I'm gonna say that's. Actually, I'm not gonna comment. Because <laughs> um, it worked. I'm not gonna comment because it worked. So, last stock game, Scrump is getting some damage. Um, I think it was very crucial for Bug Doctor to be able to build up that percentage, uh, yeah. like that extra credit after second stock. Just because, yeah. like you said, it seems like it's a lot easier for Banjo to secure earlier kills than it is. For <laughs> and I mean, when he just cleans up the percent deficit in an instant, like he just did. Oh, exactly. <laughs> and that's why, see, yeah, that drag down back here. If he gets that second hit, yeah. there's a lot of hits done, and then he can get an up tilt off of that. He's got two Wonder Wings left. Hit. I feel like the best thing like he could do would be to knock him far off. enough off stage to make him recover with Wonder Wing. Yeah. I honestly think it's it'd be wise of Adam to create some space here just to make it as make Wonder Wing as reactable as possible. Yeah. He's only got he one left. With the sour spot there. That up here doesn't kill, man. And just like that. Yeah, there they are. Wonder Wings are gone. 
So that's a big sigh of relief. At this point, oh, I thought Scrump was going to go for that, that immediate grab. That probably yeah. would have ended in a kill, but instead... Bug Doctor's in the corner. This is a comfortable and, spot for And him. you know, Bug Doctor does not need to get into a position where he's going to get grabbed. Mm -hmm. Without that, just about the only thing I see Scrump getting is a lucky fair. There it is. F oh, smash yeah, to take game one. The wedge. That's by far Scrump's, and I think every Banjo player's favorite option is that beer versus grenade off the ledge. But yeah. Mega Man's F smash covers it perfectly. Buck Doctor takes uh, a tense but fairly routine game one, I would say. Yeah, for sure, for considering sure. Considering how these sets between these two players usually go. Nothing too out of the ordinary. We've got some uh, dissent in the chat. <clears throat> Pink Bombo is in the scrump army, but Gary Too Scary, notably cheering for Bug Doctor. Cheering against and Saskatoon. Niji. And Niji is being the diplomat, cheering for both players. <laughs> Good old North Battleford. So, game number two, based on Smash UG, is going to be on Yoshi's Story. Okay. I like that. And I really like this pick if I'm Scrump. Yeah, I believe it. I feel like neither character has particularly amazing tools for two framing and and uh, like each other's recovery. So the the weirdly slanted ledges aren't going to play a huge factor. But it's just going to be the, the smaller blasts um, all around that are going to definitely benefit Scrump because of Wonder Wing. I think you're forgetting one really weirdly good move at two framing that Banjo has. Wonder Wing? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I feel you like know, the ledge might uh, come into play for that one. And I guess uh, Mega Man has Leaf Shield too. Like Banjo's often going to be air dodging the ledge after up B. That's true. But thus far we're seeing Bug Doctor. You know, he's making a statement here. This is Scrump's counter pick, but he's not scared. He opens up a pretty good percent lead. Mm -hmm. Scrump wastes a wing to get himself into the corner, but Bug Doctor's just on him like a hawk. Yeah. Air dodge here. Doesn't oh, quite he hit doesn't the down dodge. smash. I think Bug yeah. Doctor is expecting Regal the air dodge here into too. Up, tilt. up there, almost sealing it again. Interesting uh, Wonder Wing. I wonder I if that's like one of those it. accidental ones that he was talking about earlier today. I I don't know. It looked pretty intentional. Just instead of landing, go for ledge. Spot dodge, oh, up, spot tilt. dodge up tilt. I like it. Ah. <sighs> So I guess if the drag down back air into up tilt doesn't work, just do it raw. Yeah. You know? No, no, spot dodge isn't raw. It works out. Back throw will come close to killing here, but Mega Spot dodge up tilt is a true kill confirm, Squire. Yes, it's true. Almost every character. Not Palu. <laughs> but. Yeah, sure it is. Landing there. I mean... no. <laughs> Bug Doctor holding on to a, a slim lead here. Not by much. Down through up tilt, I assume, here. Up smash, up smash gets it. Okay. The Doctor mix up. Didn't appear to be mashing very much there. That shield pressure with the up airs. Oh, he actually rolls right past the F smash. Kind of thought he'd get tagged. Well, it's a bit of a mix up, because if you don't mash, the uh, up tilt isn't going to get you nearly as bad. That's true, yeah. And he'd gone for up yeah, tilt the past mistake. couple of times. Normally, at, at higher percentages, when follow-ups become more guaranteed, I see him go for down smash. Yeah, I guess that I'm makes just wondering sense. the mix-up with up smash. Feels like for this entire match, like, Bug Doctor started out with that big lead, and then ever since then, it's been largely even in terms of neutral interactions. Yeah. So Bug Doctor just continues to pre preserve a slight lead. Just keeps his lead. But again, lead. in terms of relative kill percentages, especially on Yoshi's story, this is definitely an even game. Yeah. You know, Banjo isn't really quite at kill percent yet, but a Wonder Wing at the ledge will kill Mega Man. He's going to go for it here, yep. <laughs> <laughs> he knows. No reason not to. <sighs> Trust me, I've been hit with that one before. Oh, yeah. I think everybody has. I'm just saying I've only been hit by it once. Admittedly, it lost me the set. 
No, that's when it matters, I guess, eh? <laughs> the most demoralizing is is uh, having your jump rip with the Wonder Wing. That was a good ass smash. With, like with a short with a short hop Wonder Wing, where he's at risk of dying if he whiffs. Another F smash. Actually, because he could just Wonder Wing again. I love but, Bug Doctor's Bug F smashes. <clears throat> They've been really it's good this whole tournament. Just to connect with, you know, surprising and, and impressive consistency, no matter who he's playing against. It feels like that's a move that a lot of people would be watching out for, but he manages to sneak it in at really yeah. intelligent and unexpected times. I'm privileged to have a really, up really air, good reflector air, up against tilt, it. Up air. That was a clever combo there from Scrump. Yeah. Bug Doctor re-establishing control here. That hard knuckle was a bit too early. Yeah, Regal Blaster and up tilt is uh, really... He was labbing that before this set. What's that? He was labbing that Briggle Blaster into up tilt before this set. Yeah, he's been labbing it for seven weeks, man. <laughs> yeah. I actually, no I was actually noticing last game that he was even if Bug Doctor was shielding Briggle Blaster, <laughs> he would still do the follow up up tilt just because he was probably expecting Bug Doctor to have some sort of unfamiliarity with the, the hitbox. I mean, fair enough. So Scrump steals the percent lead, but I'm liking Bug Doctor here. In mm hmm. I feel like if he keeps this sort of distance, again, it's going to be hard-pressed for Scrump to find a Wonder Wing. And there, yeah, he's mostly just using it for repositioning now. He's got... He's almost fishing for it. It's Yoshi's. It'll kill any anywhere. <laughs> Down throw. Up tilt. Oh, Adam mashes this time. Wisely escapes the kill setup. Get yeah, the back air out, out of shield. Smash out of shield. Ooh, that's spooky. <laughs> oh, this is intense. Minute 28 on the clock. I don't ah, think this will go to time. Rolls into the... <gasps> oh, oh my... Oh no Doesn't way. die! I stand corrected. I thought that was killing from anywhere. No matter what the strength of the hit was. Oh my Does goodness. Any feathers left? Oh. Amazing ah! recovery from Scrump. <laughs> this might go to time. Regal blaster. <laughs> Can you imagine? Oh, he rolls away from the back throw. Down to it almost kills. Ah! There it is. That's gotta be a it. A whole series. Holy. A whole series of clever recoveries from Scrum. But in the end, it doesn't matter. Because Bug Doctor, again, very intelligent, stealthy use of that F smash. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> and this is like what Adam, what Adam tells me all the time. No matter what the course of the set is, all the games are scary. That was a definitely seeing why because that was a heart pounding end of the game. That's for sure. Yeah. <laughs> Just trading blows back and forth, and they were both at 160 with a minute left. Ridiculous. I feel like it's almost like it, it's almost a situation like that would cause so much internal conflict for me. Because on one hand, I'd be thinking, just run away. But on the other hand, I'm at 160, you're at 160. Yeah. I feel like it's only going to take one more hit to finish it off. So maybe I just keep on approaching. I don't know. Or keep on threatening to approach. I would time him out. Mercilessly. Yeah. Well, you also have moves that are pretty good for that sort of thing. You have auto reticle. That's true. Because <clears throat> <clears throat> explosive flame is not a time up move in that scenario. <laughs> no. It's also not a very good move in that scenario. It's also not a very good move. In general, yeah. <laughs> yeah, Auto Reticle is easily the better projectile. Game 3, going to Smashville. I'm really not sure in this matchup, aside from just basic kill percentage stuff. So I'm really not sure what Scrub is looking to uh, accomplish here. Short stage. Maybe it's just setups on that... Short stage, yeah, fair That's enough. That's what I think. There'd be less distance for, <laughs> you know, less distance for Bug Doctor to run to if he's afraid of getting yeah. tagged by a Wonder Wing. Don't let Mega Man have the space. Same deal as Yoshi's, really. Um, yeah, that's that's oh, what I think. Catch on that double jump there. He's forced to burn a wing to recover the ledge. Love the Metal Blade combos. Oh, the Fair nearly the takes them out. The Fair almost kills, but it's a bit... Small. The F-Smash will! It goes right into the F-Smash. Yep. 
Bug Doctor's looking pretty comfy here. Caught him buffering. Mojo! Okay, Mojo's coming in online Smash Bros. Ultimate. Nice. Big news. While all these big names are fighting for glory, he's on that grind. He's waiting for Season 2. That's true. Can I get 40s in the chat if you're excited for Season 2 of the Sask Smash Online Ultimate Circuit? May, may or may not happen. Probably in some sort of other capacity. But if it does happen, it will be May. Come on, that was good. Give me some credit. That was good. <laughs> yeah, I... <laughs> <laughs> For a second, I was thinking I was. Like, oh, Wonder Wing like, takes Bug Doctor stock. E <laughs> Woo! <laughs> hardly, uh, hardly a shocker in terms of uh, a finishing move, but uh, yeah, you know, gets the job done. Scrump has quite a hefty deficit to to recover here, but we've we've seen these. You know, explosive spurts of damage from him in the in the earlier games. It just seems like it's hard for him to actually crack Bug Doctor's zoning wall. It's getting much more difficult for him as the set goes on. Yeah, and with the fair taking and it out, you know that's a full stock out. lead. This He's is nothing like the previous the game. Mm -hmm. Rather than sort of allowing Scrump to just dwell in the corners, he's actually creating more pressure and making Scrub uncomfortable, and then capitalizing on mistakes. I'm calling out really so cool many jumps. Adaptation. Yeah, for sure. Calling out the jumps is Wonder really Wing smart, because he it. can't really uh, grenade without jumping, and, you know, the regular yeah. neutral B isn't that great without a jump either. Yeah, this set is looking to be curtains if Scrump can't figure something out really quickly. Yeah. I'm not sure what exactly he can do if Bug Doctor is this, you know, perceptive of Scrump's uh, jumping habits. If he gets the dash attack, maybe he can read a jump off ledge here with a wing or something. You know, it seems like he's scared to pull the trigger. Ooh, that could have been a big mistake, that Wonder Wing. Yeah. He needs he to pull out a miracle to win this one. This sets all but. Like he's still a good couple of a good couple of neutral wins away from getting a kill here. So yeah, even then, if, if Bug Doctor shields that Regal Blaster hit, he still goes for the follow-up, and then he ultimately dies for it. Yeah. Well, there it is. Well, stark contrast to the typical set that we see between